1993, the struggling British pro wrestling scene was portrayed in a BBC documentary series, Video Diaries, and featured Robbie Brookside. Brian Dixon came up to me and said, this is Bob Tolpert. He works for BBC. He wants you, well, he wants you to do a documentary. So, okay, yeah, that sounds. Um, so you, and he sat me down, he said, we've got this camera here. I want you to take it away. Um, and we want you to film everything you do. It's not just about wrestling, it's about you. At the time, Doc Dean, we were tag team partners and we filmed for the best part of a year. And we had 284 hours worth of material for a one hour documentary. And it was an incredible experience. But they gave us the same night as Chris Eubank and Nigel Bernard, the last ever territorial live, live from Old Trafford. Yeah, unmissable. And on BBC Two, we've got some wrestlers doing the video diaries. <laughs> I thought, well, I'll, I'll watch that and I'll recall Video Diaries. But I remember I kept channel flicking back to Video Diaries because I found it so gripping. And I've probably watched it about 25, 30 times. I took a lot of shit for it within this dressing room, off the old brigade. I didn't realise that the, the show was going to go out. I thought he was having a laugh and just taking some photos of the lads, you know, because we were going on this uh, trip away. But. Unknown to me, I didn't think it was going to go around the UK. The one thing I did with, with it was keep the job in the right way. There was never anything untoward. And even now when I watch it, I'm proud. But most of all, nowadays, wrestlers come up to me and go, that's the best documentary that we've ever saw about wrestling. I think he looked at it, and a lot of us looked at it, that appeared on it, as a, maybe a forerunner for it to get back to what it was. We're crying out for help. It is, it's, it, you know, we're, please help us, you know, look at, look at what we're doing, look at how we're doing it, and look what we're getting back. Looking back at it, and I've watched it again on YouTube, and, and it, it was like a cry for help. We were like, he, was, he was like saying, listen, save this business, it needs to be saved. What Robbie did, and what he's always done, is he threw up a flare to the next generation and said, this is an option. And some of us turned around and we saw that flare and, that, and that's how we got into it. So for him to do that was, it was a massive, a massive thing for the next generation of British wrestlers. 